Hello YouTube, it is Everything Epan here, and in this video we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Vista in VirtualBox. This is an updated uh, tutorial here for 2022. Um, I've had requests from multiple uh, followers in the comments asking for an updated Vista tutorial for 2022. Um, I did make a VMware tutorial already on this. Um, it'll be basically using, we're using the same ISO files um, in that video, in this video as well. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and just get straight into the video here. Um, links will be in the description. Of course, as always, VirtualBox will be down there if you guys do need that. Um, there is actually uh, 7.0 is out now. Um, which ironically I haven't updated to yet. So this will probably be the last video you'll see on VirtualBox 6.1. Um, but I'll end up testing out 7.0 here after this. Um, and then um, here is the ISO files here. Um, you've got the x86, the 32-bit version, and the 64-bit version down here. You can download the ISO images here. Um, again, shout out to Victor Rocks Archives for the uh, ISOs here. Um, once you have those two things downloaded, that's all you need for this. Um, whereas before with VMware, you needed like a older version of VMware tools. Um, we'll test out guest editions here and see if it works. Uh, I can't quite remember if it does, but um, we're going to create a new machine. I'm just going to call it Windows Vista, and I am going to use the 64-bit out of the two options here you can you know if you want to use the 32-bit uh, iso you can but uh, i'm just going to do 64-bit we'll hit next and then actually going to dedicate uh four gigs of ram to this instead of 512 megs i would recommend upping it a little bit just with how vista runs and then we're going to create a virtual hard disk we'll hit create here um, you can pick any file type you wish here and then hit next you can choose either one of these options you can read up on it here um, for the difference, basically, fixed size is uh, it puts it all on the drive right then and there when you create it. Dynamically allocated, it just takes up however much um, the virtual disk used during your install and with putting stuff on it. Um, I just normally select dynamically allocated. And then the recommended size uh, that it has for the hard drive is 25 gigs, and that should be enough for what we need here. You can up it if you want, but um, 25 gigs should be plenty. Um, so we'll create that machine and it's got it created down here, um, our Windows Vista machine. And then we'll go to settings, storage, hit the empty disk, and then we're going to go ahead and choose a file. We're going to get our ISO inserted. So just uh, go to wherever you have your Vista ISO um, saved. And then here they should, this is what they should be called. I'm going to do the 64 one here. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And then we'll start up the machine. It'll go ahead and pull up the virtual machine. It'll load the files. And it'll come up with our little boot screen here. And so it'll run through that. It'll come up with our setup screen here. With the first setup window. And then you'll just want to make sure here that you have your language, uh, time and currency format, and keyboard. Uh, or input method set correctly here, whatever you need it to. Go ahead and hit next. And then we'll just hit install now. And then it will come up and ask for a product key. You can skip this. Um, you don't need a product key. Um, well, it won't activate anyways. Um, so just hit next and then hit no. And then you can actually choose um, which version here since it's an all-in-one ISO. Um, so you can do either business, home basic, home premium, and ultimate. Um, I'm going to just choose the ultimate edition. And then you need to make sure you check the, I have selected the edition of Windows that I purchased box down here and hit next. And then it's going to have you uh, accept the license agreement here. So make sure that's checked and hit next. And then um, we're going to hit custom here. Of course, we can't do an upgrade since there's no operating system. Um, and then should have your unallocated space. Uh, here I have 25 gigs. And we'll hit next. And then it's going to go forth with uh, doing the install here. So 
you'll see it's got the traditional list of items here of copying files, uh, expanding files, installing updates or features and updates, and then doing the completing install. Um, so this part will take some time. There will be a couple times it will reboot here. Um, the expanding files out of the list here will be the one that takes the longest um, usually. So, um, and then the completing install takes some time here, but out of this first portion here before it reboots, the expanding files takes the longest. So uh, just let it sit and do its thing here. It might hang at 0% for a while, but as you can see, it uh, just started going up. So um, I'm going to let it do its thing here, and then I will come back to you guys once we hit our uh, first restart point. Okay, so we are at our first restart point here. Um, it will come up with that prompt to restart, um, and then it'll have a counter on it. So um, let it run through or click restart now, and it'll reboot. And then um, do not press any key to boot from the CD or DVD. It'll just keep going in a loop. And then it should boot back up into the uh, setup here. So we've got the boot screen. And then... Should pop us back up into the setup here. We'll come up with a little message of please wait while Windows sets up your computer here. That'll come up for a bit and then should prompt us back up into that setup window. So it should keep loading through that. And I'm doing some other virtual machine work in the background. So there was some uh, sounds playing that probably or you were wondering where that was coming from. So my apologies here on that. Um, but it'll keep sitting at this screen for a bit. And then uh, it should come up with the uh, back up to that setup screen. So I'll uh, pause here and come back when that's up. Okay, so it'll eventually come up to this uh, page here where it'll pop up with that little message and then it'll come back up to this with the completing installation stage. So um, this part will take a little bit as well. Uh, so just let it sit through and do its thing. Um, and then it will go ahead and um, I think in this stage, uh, I'm, you know, if I remember correctly, it might make this box a little bit bigger with um, getting graphics and everything on here. But um, again, just let it sit and do its thing, and then it'll eventually come up to another restart point. So I'll be back with you guys once it uh, hits that restart point. And it had gone ahead and rebooted here. Um, so once again, when that message comes up to press any key to boot from CD or DVD, do not hit any button. Um, and then it should go back into our setup here and continue through the setup on that. So, um, as you can see, a few restart points, you know, you've seen the traditional, uh, that's how it traditionally is with these setups. Um, and we've seen previously with Vita that it does that. Um, but overall, it shouldn't take too long here to get all this loaded through. And then um, should get us up to that final uh, screen here where we're setting up our account and everything. So um, let it kind of sit and boot up here and then it eventually should pop up with the window to have us uh, set up our account here. And so here we will see it uh, come up here. We've got the mouse cursor and then eventually the window should pop up here. So it may load slower than you think here um, where it kind of comes up with some of these blank screens, but eventually as said, there it is. Uh, we've got the username and password uh, and then picture selection here. Um, so type in a username here. I can type there and then you can pick whichever profile picture you would like and hit next. You can put a password in if you want, but you don't have to. And then I'm just going to call this Vista PC. You can call the computer name wherever you want. You can select a desktop background if you wish as well. And then hit next. Um, 
any one of these is fine. I usually just do recommended. And then um, choose your uh, specified time zone, however you want that there. It did not automatically adjust the time for mine, but... Um, and then go ahead and choose whichever. I mean, a lot of these, it doesn't really matter what you pick because you're not you know, using this as your main PC. So you can pick a lot of, uh, you know, whichever options here. So once that goes through and you hit that start button, um, it will go through a few final um, setup prompts here. So eventually it'll come up with the, um, that it's going to be setting up a few more things and then um, it'll automatically log us into the account um, after that's done. So just kind of let it sit and do its thing again here. Um, It'll come up with this, uh, checking the computer's performance here. Um, so it'll go through this for a bit and then it will log us into the account. So just kind of let it sit and do its thing again here. And then it will bring us uh, into the desktop. It'll log us into the account. So I'll be back with you guys once that is done. All right, so once that's done, it'll come up with another, uh, it'll go blank here. And then it will play the uh, startup sound and log us into the account. Um, and you can see at the bottom, since I chose Ultimate, it does show uh, Windows Vista Ultimate at the bottom. And then it'll give us uh, welcome and then preparing your desktop. And then it will go ahead and uh, get us logged into the account. Um, I will test guest editions here real quick to see if that does work um, on this. Now, granted, um, Version 7 of VirtualBox just came out, so obviously that's possible that it could differ. Um, but I would think um, if it works here on 6, it would should work on 7. I don't see why they would remove any compatibility there. Um, but yeah, that Welcome Center screen will come up here. So if we go to uh, Devices and Insert Guest Editions, see what comes up here when attempting to install Guest Editions. Not sure if it'll prompt automatically. Sometimes it does. If not, then we can go to the disk drive here and open up guest editions and allow it here. So we'll just hit next, next, and install. See if it gets everything. Um, and if this comes up, just hit install anyway. Looks like it will install or attempt to try and install the drivers from guest editions here. And then you can also see if you go to computer and properties, you can see Windows Vista Ultimate Service Pack 2. And it's got a 64 bit as it does. And then you can also run the experience index if you want. So now this may come up multiple times when it's attempted to install. Um, on there, so just make sure to just hit install anyway. Looks like it's gonna try and get the video drivers installed. So, guest editions should work um, as far as this goes, but um, again, this will be the last tutorial that I've used version 6.1 or any of the six series of VirtualBox. We'll be upgrading that to uh, version seven after this is done. So, um, looks like, yeah, setup was not completed. So. Uh, it looked like it was actually trying to work there, but then it looks like it uh, was not able to complete those. So um, I'm going to cancel that out here. And I think even if I try the AMD 64 uh, version here, I think it's going to do the same thing. I'll give that a shot here real quick. Yep, same thing. So... Looks like guest editions isn't working here. Um, not sure if there's possibly a workaround to that, but um, regardless there, that is the uh, video tutorial here on how to install Windows Vista and VirtualBox, our updated video tutorial for 2022, since it's been a while since I've done a uh, Vista tutorial. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful at all for you, you can leave a like down below. If you have any ideas for any future videos, um, or anything you'd like to leave in the comments, you can leave in the comments down below. And then uh, if any of you watching this are not yet subscribed to the channel, uh, you can hit the subscribe button down below and hit the post notification bell to be up to date on my content and notified when I'm uploading.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is the video tutorial on how to install Windows Vista in VirtualBox. And I will see you guys in the next video.